So this is the second update for the 3D printed biomimetic hand project. Um, so this is uh, the uh, second revision for the prototype. I'll show you guys um, that later. This is the first one and how it all came together. That was in the, uh, the last video. Um, and I'll explain all the design changes that we made so far. And then this is the uh, servo array. So this is what is actually going to be pulling on the, um, on the fishing line to make the hand work. So I'm gonna dive right into that. All right, so here is the second design revision. Um, a lot of changes have been made, but the first thing I wanna show you is the new range of motion. So the new range of motion is much more human than before. Um, it mimics biomechanics much, much better uh, than the previous design. So I'm just gonna get right into the new changes. So the old one um, used braided string for the ligaments. It used laser cut rubber for the tendon sheaths. Um, and the tendon guides on the back were these big, bulky 3D printed things. So the changes in the new revision are instead of the ligaments being made out of braided string, they're actually printed um, in Talman's PCTPE filament. We've got, um, we've replaced the, the fishing line here was made out of a different type. This is a spectra line. This other stuff was like a, a, a knockoff stuff and it, what, it's, not a, it's, it's more elastic. This one isn't as elastic. Um, the tendon sheaths are now also 3D printed out of the same material as the ligaments. The, um, we still use some of the rubber that we use for the tendon sheaths on the back. Um, that hasn't changed at all, though I have incorporated in tendon guides into that intrinsic muscle there. And our new tendon guides are much, much smaller, way more lower profile, also made out of PCTPE. There's 46 screws per finger, and I've also started experimenting with silicone fingertips. So you guys, you guys, I actually made this out of um, silicone caulking that you'd buy at uh, like uh, a hardware store, mixed with cornstarch and food coloring, and you can actually mold it. It's like Play-Doh for like uh, 10 minutes and then it dries. So use a credit card and mold it around uh, the fingertip. And so also I started to work on the thumb. The thumb is uh, pretty complex. This whole thing going on in here um, with the trapezium bone and the sort of saddle joint is actually pretty difficult to control And so there's actually three servo motors dedicated just for this thumb Well, um, there's one dedicated for this finger one dedicated for this finger and then one that drives both the uh, Pinky and ring finger those haven't been manufactured yet, but they're very similar to these other fingers So uh, I haven't actually been focusing on that. I've actually been focusing on um, the servo tower or the servo array, you know either name works but yep, that's pretty much it for the second design revision. All right, so here is the servo array um, that I built. I'm just gonna push some code to it right now so you can see the motors moving. It consists of six Dynamixel servos. These five are MX12W servos, and this one is an AX12A. This one has a higher gear ratio, and um, let me show you that to you right now. And the function of that is to pull the thumb across the hand. That takes more work than doing this function. So that's what's going on there. Um, and then I can move each motor individually. So the programming is uh, still you know, pretty early on, but we're working that out. The hardware is much more mature at this point. Um, but I'll show you. So you've got a 3D printed strip that goes right here that binds the servos together on this side. And then on the back, you've got another 3D printed strip um, then, you know, all the wiring, then you've got 3D printed pulleys, or, um, yeah, pulleys on each of these, and so the string will wrap around these, or it'll be the Spectra fishing line will wrap around these, and then there'll be, um, you know, an organizer here, and all the, all the, um, tendons should get to the places that they need, and then these two holes on the top are actually for metal shafts, and so these will be cut down, um, right now they're, they're about this long, and so... I'll show you the whole picture here. So you have those metal shafts in between here, and it'll all come together like that. So, yep. Yeah. So that's where I am at with the project. Just figured I'd give a quick video update since I haven't given one of those in a while. Um, yeah, everything is on schedule and going well, and I'm excited to finish up the project. Thank you guys for watching.